Welcome to my film, Renewable Resources Utilized in New York State. Right now, New York still uses thousands of tons of fossil fuels to produce energy that is slowly destroying our world. By utilizing our God-given renewable resources, we can turn that around. And in New York, there are people and companies who are working to do just that. Renewable energy may have immediate costs, but will keep our hard-earned money in New York's economy by reducing the importation of fossil fuels and producing jobs that stabilize our failing economic structure. This is a wind farm right here in central New York. This wind farm is located in the town of Fenner in Madison County and has been producing clean, renewable energy since 2001. The size and the number of turbines up here is very impressive. Now that we've gotten a nice view of the wind farm, let's go down to that green building over there. It is the future site for the Fenner Renewable Energy Education Center. Hopefully we will find somebody to talk to. Each of the turbines here in Fenner have a 213-foot tower with three 113-foot rotating blades held up by a 305-ton cement base. There is an elaborate computer system inside each turbine which performs thorough self-diagnostic tests and troubleshoots errors before the startup command is given. If the computer detects any problems that it cannot autocorrect, the turbine will automatically shut down. In addition to the internal computer, the system control and data acquisition control system allows a remote operator using a modem from anywhere in the country to set new operation perimeters, perform system checks, and ensure turbines are operating at peak performance. The computer that automatically controls each turbine turns the turbine's rotors to face into the wind, which at more than 100 feet up is stronger and less turbulent than at ground level. These rotors turn at 11 to 20 rotations per minute. As the wind blows, the pitch of the rotor blades adjusts to suit the change in the wind speed. For safety, the turbines will automatically shut down by rotating their blades if the sustained wind speed exceeds 56 miles per hour. Windmills produce energy by using the wind to rotate the blades and drive the main shaft, which drives the generator to convert mechanical power into electrical power. The electricity is cabled down the tower, then through a series of transformers and underground distribution lines, before entering the main substation. And we're here, so I'm going to get out and take a look around to see if anybody works here, because I'd like to talk to them. Kevin Wildgal is a surface technician at the Fender Wind Farm, and he was kind enough to talk to me about the turbines. Each one of these units generates about one and a half megawatts of electricity when it's running at full power. So that's, a, that's enough power from each one for about a thousand homes. And there's 20 of them here. So at full power, they're making 30 megawatts of power or enough power for roughly 20,000 homes. We, we maintain all these turbines, all the, uh, well, most of the, most of the equipment needed to generate the electricity is up in the, the nacelles, which is that department up on top. There's a generator up there, gearbox, a bunch of other equipment up there. And it actually weighs about 90 tons. 250 feet off the ground, so, and there's a ladder inside, so whenever we, whenever we have to do work, we have to climb up that 250 foot ladder. It takes about uh, oh, it takes about eight eight miles an hour a wind for them to start generating. Do these wind turbines ever have problems with falling? No. Fortunately, not. Yeah, we actually just saw a bird over there on the ground. Actually, it has a little nest over there. Yeah, we see birds around here all the time. So it doesn't seem to affect them. No, I see them. I see them flying around here yeah. all the time. Never seen a single one of them get hit. Or How many wind farms are there in this area? Well, there's this one, and then uh, you can see way off on the horizon, way off there. There's another one over there. It's in Munsville. So, well, there there is a over just over the horizon. There's a small 
wind farm. We don't have anything to do with that one. Okay. They've got, I think they have seven wind turbines over there. And that's, I think that's called the Madison Wind Park. Well, Kevin, thank you for your time. Okay, yep. Okay. All right. All right. Along with the wind farms of Fenner, Madison County, and Munsville, which Kevin mentioned in the interview, there are many more being proposed, constructed, and operated all across New York, such as the Maple Ridge Wind Farm in the Tug Hill region. Noble Environmental Power is a company which operates the Clinton Wind Park in northern New York and is adding on to it this year. Noble also operates the Bliss Wind Park in western New York. Noble Environmental Power is constructing two more wind parks, the Allegheny Wind Park and the Ball Hill Wind Park. Noble has also proposed even more wind farms to be constructed in New York. The Orangeville Weathersfield Wind Farm, the Altona Wind Park, the Allenberg Wind Park, and the Belmont Cottageway Wind Park. All containing more than 60 turbines to raise our wind power from less than 1% to 6% by 2012.